What's up everybody, Rick Denimir, Holy Moly Outdoors. We're talking buzz bombs today and four hook riggings you're not using. So stay tuned, this one's gonna be good. Hey everybody, we got our buzz bombs laid out in front of us here. So I just kinda wanted to give you a quick rundown of four rigs that I really don't think you're throwing right now and definitely will help you land more fish. Laid out in front, we got our standard two and a half inch buzz bombs there, right? Very popular and honestly the most preferred size in my opinion for fishing off the beaches or frankly anywhere um, for salmon. And I got one of the three inch extra heavies as well because it is a common size to consider. Now, straight out of the package, you guys will get your buzz bomb to something like this right now it comes with a treble hook it comes with a bumper bead and it comes with your buzz bomb most standard people will just tie on the treble hook and go fishing and it's great it does work that way however in Washington State in the Puget Sound, we cannot use the treble hook. It cannot be a barbed, let alone it has to be single point. So, the treble hook can go the wayside. Now, what is more common is going to be a single hook component. And you're going to see a lot of people use a rig similar to this where it's just an open eye siwash hook and that hook is designed to specifically sit tied on and you're fishing it makes it really straightforward really easy so something like this right here right that is a standard siwash hook you will see many people tie on their line it's open like that you crimp it shut Got a hook, pinch the barb, add your bumper bead, you're fishing. However, rig number one is what you just saw. I would recommend adding a swivel to that. You now have a point added in for once you hook that fish, there is no leverage that it can gain from the hook pivoting, which is awesome. Again, bringing more fish to the beach with just a simple deal. Now, what's really cool is this second one here because I came across this over the internet. Definitely not my idea originally, um, but it's worth noting because truly, whoever thought of this was genius. If you look at that, you got two of the Siwash hooks back to back. They're on a barrel swivel, so you still have the same benefits as you did in this one, right? Same benefit factor. Now you have two hook points. So as you're retrieving this lure through the water, they're going to move around a little bit, but you essentially are going to have a double system like that. And you get one of these in, most likely that second one's in the fish as well, and your catch ratio just goes even higher. Super, super cool on that factor. And frankly, then it ties right into the next where you can take another pretty standard um, hook system, right? And you can take that. I'm going to show you guys right here. So I have a Gamagatsu one ot barbless hook. Now it's nice. They do have abilities to buy barbless so you don't have to worry about pinching anything it's already pre-done for you it's again got that open eye so i would take a barrel swivel like this guy here same thing crimper on and it's going to look initially a lot like this rig right that's what we're going for and then you're going to take your favorite, that doesn't matter really too much, but your favorite secondary hook, 
and you're going to have a snelled rig with the barrel swivel on a siwash. And it's really sweet. This rigging alone by itself can be fished bare. That back hook trailer can be added for color contrast, can help with strikes, but it for sure gives you a little bit extra to get a short biter. Super sticky sharp, really, really works well. So I, I you know, kind of took that playbook from salmon fishing out of the boat because that's almost like a mooching rig and what a mooching rig with a swivel so a great idea again because you're going to have that bumper bead like you see here and then the buzz bomb itself and ties right into the last rigging that i got for you here and that is a double mooching setup kind of already said it but this i think by far gives you the best range of options in a very simplistic way, right? I got a glow in the dark top hook, a hot pink bottom hook. I'll pinch the barbs, make this legal, right? But all I do is take my buzz bomb. Here's one that we doctored up with some hypervis. It's already got the bumper bead on there. And just like that, this guy is ready to go fish. You got a double hook set up right there. And you're fishing. Now, I would recommend wholeheartedly on top of each of these rigs, right? Three of them incorporating swivels into the hook system. I would also recommend and the top end you tie another swivel so basically a leader system you have already rigged up with your buzz bombs together it makes it super efficient super effective and let me tell you guys four rigs that are going to help you land more fish here coming into the fall so i hope you enjoyed this a lot more content coming if you want to see a little bit more information about the buzz bomb and different sizes available check this video right out here and we'll catch you on the water next time tight lines as always and fish on